Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi Wa sallam Amma ba'da Habita fillah Sincerity to Allah Azza wa Jal In everything that we do this is the Asasa Deen. This is a class Lillah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And a part of that sincerity, or in along with sincerity, as in as in we need sincerity in everything that we do, every action that we partake in, every act of ibadah, every act of worship, we need sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in order to have our deeds accepted, they must be built upon. Sincerity to Allah, meaning you worship Allah alone, you do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that it is in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Ibn Rajab mentioned an excellent benefit in his book of Fawaid regarding the importance of sincerity regarding the importance of us having that sincerity in what we do. And so he mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Ha huna nuktata daqiqa Wa ana linsan qad yadhimmu nafsuhu bayna nas يريد بذاك أن يرى الناس أنه متواضع عند النفس عند نفسه فيرج فيرتمع بذلك عندهم ويمدحونه وهذا من دقائق أبواب الرياء وقد نبه عليه السلف الصالح so Ibn Rajib, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said that here is a very specific, very daqiq, very uh, specific mas'ala, you know, issue uh, that must be pointed out. And this is in regards to showing off riyah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and protect us from it. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa astaghfiruka liman a'lamu. So then he said, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said that, and this thing in which he, he felt the, necess, the uh, necessity to point out is that sometimes a person will blame themselves in front of people. Meaning they'll, they'll feel sorry in front of people. And what they intend by that is that they want to show, show off in front of the people, meaning to show the people that they fear Allah. Okay? So this is a type of riyah, showing off. And that this person, this individual's mutawah, that, that they are a person who is humble, possesses humility. And they want to do that in front of the people. And so then they do and exaggerate this attribute in front of the people. And the people praise him for that. Meaning that they say, oh, so-and-so has so much taqwa. Did you see such and such? Did you see how he cried in front of us when he raised the money in the masjid? Did you see how he made toba and, you know, exhibited his sorrow and exhibited such uh, humility? And so then Ibn Rajab said, this is from the, the specific types of riba, uh, uh, riya, you know, of the minor shirk, the showing off. And 
this is what the Salaf, the Salaf of Saleh, used to point this out. You know, they used to uh, think that this was a unpraiseworthy trait. And this was something to be cautious and aware of. And this is something to keep oneself away from. And that a person should strive their utmost to have ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything they do, in every act of ibadah. And I want to point out, habitifillah, that unfortunately, this tends to be very different than many of us. I can't say all of us, but many of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us that it's easy for us to seek the praise of the people. And it's easy for us to show off and pretend that we feel sorrow for our sins and that we are sinful, but we actually want to do that in order to receive the praise of the people. So this is a very serious thing that the Salaf, they warned against. And this is a part of the madhab of the Salaf is to ibta'id on the hadhihi Sifa, to, to be away from that attribute, to be away from that characteristic of, of seeking praise of the people and, you know, doing things to show off in one's ibadah. Because as we said, al-ibadah fiha shartain, o mabni ala shartain, that ibadah worship, it is built upon two things. The first thing is ikhlas lillah. Sincerity to Allah And the second is mutaba, which means that it follows the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu was salam. That that is, those are the conditions for our worship of Allah And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with that. And that's why, habitifillah, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. But that's a very important dua. Always Say, I ask Allah for sincerity and thabat. And thabat, that means firmness. That means being firm upon what? What would you possibly want thabat on? You want thabat on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That you want firmness, your firmness to be on the sunnah. On the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And we seek forgiveness and refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of ourselves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.